up guys, this is Mike from Ridgebreak Gaming, and it's time to begin our journey on Let's Play Pokemon Emerald! Ha, ah, just rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? Welcome back guys, since last time, I got Torchic and the others up to level 11, and my Wurmple evolved into, um, Cascoon, and as such, evolved into Dustox, yes! It also maintains Wurmple's Shield Dust ability, which prevents added effects, very nice! Um, if you got Beautifly, um, if you got Silcoon and then Beautifly, um, it'll have the Swarm ability, which ups Bug-type moves by 1.5 times. So, you know, there you go. Otherwise than that, though, we're all set and ready to go, so let's continue on our journey now, or begin our journey. I finished sketching the footprints of a rare Pokemon, but it turns out they were only my own footprints. Huh, fail. But yeah, if you, um, earlier before, if you did not, um, fight Mei, and stuff, this guy, that guy there would be blocking the entrance to Route 102. So now that the stuff with Mei is done, we can now continue on. Next stop, Petalburg City! And we saw on the news, at least in, in the first episode, that our dad was on TV at some place called Petalburg Gym. Huh. Well, oddly enough, we're going to Petalburg Gym. Now, I fought a couple of these um, um, trainers off screen. Um, the first trainer there, that youngster, has a level 5 Puchiana. That guy with the hat, um, Buck Catcher, um, two Wurmples, level 4. I'm not very tall, so I sink right into the tall grass. The grass goes up my nose and... Boo! Achoo! Ooh. Gazootite, little dude. Otherwise than that, though. Yay! Warp but I already got one already. But, in any case, um, I did not take on all the, um, trainers here. So I wanted to show off some of them for the episode. There you go! D did you just become a trainer? We're both beginners! Yeah, let's see which one of us is the bigger noob! Let's find out. Battle time! Now... This is not our official first trainer battle. The battle with May doesn't count because that's a rival battle. The battle with that other youngster, it would be your first trainer battle. But this is the first one I'm showing on screen. Now, just like with my other Pokemon LPs, I'm not going to be showing all the trainer battles on screen. Not all of them. Some, but not all. Few, but not a lot. If you get if you get the gist. But yeah, um, Taylor here is this region's um, starter bird, if you think about it that way. You know, like Pidgey was one for, you know, for Kanto. Yeah, we got Taylor. Taylor was actually pretty good. Um, it's evolved form as well as a really nice attack and speed stat. So if you're going for Taylor, by all means. It's just, you won't be able to find it on this route. Which is odd, because you would normally think they would be on this, the route after you get out of your initial starter town. But, whatever. In any case, alright, Torchic you got a level. Perfect. And just like with all my Pokemon LPs, I'm going to be rotating my Pokemon every time I get levels for them. So, like, if Torchic gains a level, I switch to Dustox. If Dustox is the level, then I switch to Wingle. You know, so on and so forth. You see what I mean? Otherwise than that, though, well, it's depending on how I caught them. So, yeah. Like, I caught Wurmple and then Wingle. You see what I mean? So, I go in the order in which they were caught. Now, um, new to Pokemon um, Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald, um, we have these berry trees! Now, in the, um, what were they? Oh yeah, in Gen 2, well, we, we did have berry trees in Gen 2. The thing is, you know, I don't know, there was, there was really something, you know, w w that was the initial start of the berry trees, but they weren't refined as, as they are here in, in um, Gen 3. Basically, um, the berries actually have better names now, for one. Whenever you get berries, they will go into your berry pouch of your bag. Petra berries restore poison um, from you from the poison status. Um, orange berries restore 10 HP. This is essentially the berry and the poison cure berry from Gen 2. Better names. And the nice thing about the berry trees is that you can replant a berry. And when we do get a um a pail a water pail later, we'll be able to water those berries so that way we can grow more berries. See what I mean? So yeah, that's different than how it was in Gen 2. Whereas when Gen 2 had it, it was the night and day system that was introduced. And in Gen 2, every time you had gotten a berry, the next day a new berry would sprout or something or other like that. So I guess you could say it's more convenient from Gen 2, but I don't know. The only career that I'm going to be furthering is my own. In any case, battle time! In any case, let's see what this chick has. Yay, Zigzagoon! These are these are some common fuckers. <laughs> Literally. Psycho kidneys! There you go. Yeah, I miss saying that. I miss saying that. Huh. 
Reminds me back from my Coliseum days on the L um, on the channel. Otherwise than that, though, oh yeah, I, well, I think I mentioned this before, but I did finish my Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness um, test run that I um, did a, a couple months ago. That's all ready to go. I will be getting to that LP at some point in the near future, so be sure to look forward to that. Yeah, that game, just playing it the first time, I loved it to death. I love it already. The music, the the trainers, the, uh, the trainer battle themes, just oh, just the sight. You know what? I, I was about to I was about to spoil something, but oh gosh, the 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 boss themes, beautiful, beautiful man. <laughs> all right, all right, that's enough. Otherwise than that, though, oh yeah, here on Route 102, you can find a rare Pokemon called Rolts. It is a psychic type Pokemon, pure psychic. Now. The chance of finding it is very, very low, so you're going to be looking here for a while. And the thing is, it won't learn its first Psychic Move, Confusion, until level 6. So if you find one at level 4 or level 5, the only move it'll have is Teleport. It's like it's like finding Abra, but slightly better. Yeah, pretty much. Otherwise than that, though, Petalburg City! Alright. How's it going, lady? Where is our Wally gone? We have to leave for Verdon Turf Town very soon. Wally? Huh. Wally Wally Watson? No, no. No, that's a different Wally. Otherwise than that, though, I didn't show off the inside of the Pokemon Center, but it's just like any other Pokemon Center. Just take your Pokemon here if you need to heal while on the road. There you go. Also, just like in Gens 1 and 2, you can go to your PC here, and of course, you can um, go to someone's PC. We don't know who the PC storage unit guy or girl here is in Hoenn yet, but yeah, go to someone's PC. And you'll be able to, um, you know, deposit your Pokemon if you, if you have a full team of six or withdraw them or whatnot. Go to your PC and you'll be able to, well, store items and stuff if you don't have enough space in your bag. Which, even in Gen 3, you still don't have enough space to do so, which is dumb. But, whatever. Otherwise than that, though, I forgot to mention this in the last episode, but in every Pokemon in the game, there's these little pieces of paper on the side of the counter. Questionnaires. Now, you can combine these, um, questionnaire, um, these together. I don't know what the hell this is for, but it's there. So, I'm not sure what the purpose is of it, but it's there if you wanted to use it. Otherwise than that, though, um, let's see what they got. Oh, yeah, off screen, I did get some Pokeballs off screen. I stocked up to max on these bad boys, so that way I'll, I'll never run out. <laughs> Essentially, well, at least until we get Great Balls, which won't be for a while. Get it, viewers? A while? It's gonna be a while before we get great balls. It's gonna be a while. Otherwise than that, though, um, go ahead and buy some escape ropes. They will allow you to get um, out of caves or dungeons relatively easily. And more importantly, rip hells! Yes! Ah! God, I love rip hells. They basically prevent you from encountering wild Pokemon for 100 steps. Basically, it's like a no encounters code, but in game form, in attendant form. So, there you go. Now, these items here, X Speed, X Attack, X Defend, I don't use them much. But as you saw in my Pokemon Blue LP last year, X Accuracy is actually pretty useful. Especially for moves that rely on speed, like <coughs> Horn Drill <coughs> and Fissure. So, you know, yeah. Uh, I was spamming the fuck out of that move. Fissure. As soon as I discovered that X accuracy boosts its, boosts its um, accuracy, hot damn, did I love the fuck out of that move. <laughs> I might do something similar to that in um, Fire Red and Leaf Green when I eventually get to those LPs. In any case, let's check out the gym. Can we get our first badge here? How's it going, dude? Hmm? Well, if it isn't Mike, so you're all finished moving in? You- You're my father?! Wow! You look nothing alike. Is my hair white or am I wearing a cap or something? No, no, spoiler alert. Um, Brendan is actually wearing a cap. It, it just looks like a fucking big ass sock with spikes, but whatever. I am very certain he has black hair underneath. Just like his daddy. Otherwise than that, though, I'm surprised that you've managed to get here by yourself. I'm a big boy now. I'm a man. I'm a man. I'm 40. I'm not a, I'm not a kid. <laughs> oh, that clip never gets old. Oh, I see. So you're with your Pokemon. 
Hmm, then I guess you're going to become a trainer like me, Mike. That's great news. I'll be looking forward to it. So, Dad, are you the gym leader, the receptionist, a gym trainer here? What are you here? Huh, I guess we'll find out. Uh, who's this kid? Um, I, I'd like to get a Pokemon, please. Um, kid, this isn't a, a, a Pokemon bank or anything. You're just going waltzing in and just... Get, request a Pokemon. Uh, no, no. All right, you're Wally, right? I'm going to stay with my relatives in Virgin Turf Town. I thought I'd be lonely by myself, so I want to take a Pokemon along. But I never caught a Pokemon before. I don't know how. Hmm, I see. Mike, you heard that, right? Go with Wally and make sure he safely catches a Pokemon. Why do I have to be his escort? Why can't you do it? Ugh, whatever. Wally, here, I'll loan you my Pokemon. Yay, Wally got a zigzag goon for it to doing absolutely nothing. Or temporary. Oh, wow, a Pokemon! I'll give you a Pokeball, too. Go for it. Wow. Oh, wow, thank you! Mike, would you really come with me? Uh, it's, my dad is basically forcing me to do it. Alright, let's go! Alright, Wally, I'll show you how to catch Pokemon. This is Pokemon Catching 101. Basically, just chuck a Pokeball at it. Good luck! No, 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 it's, there's more to it than that. Mike, Pokemon hide in tall grass like this, don't they? Please watch me and see if I can catch one properly. Whoa! Literally. Whoa! Because... Uh, a vault? He found one on the first go? Are you serious? Vaults are super rare to find. He just found it like that. Wow, lucky bastard. Huh, <sighs> whatever. But I'm not jelly, jealous. No, I'm not even. I'm not even using rolls for this playthrough. Yeah, spoiler. I'm not. I'm not using rolls in this playthrough. So if those of you were expecting to see your um Garden War waifu, sorry, it ain't happening in this playthrough. Sorry. Otherwise than that though. But yeah, let's see if Wally can successfully capture this rolls. Go, Wally. Go. Okay, ball. Go. One! Ha ha! Volts, get to those A! For Ro or, I was about to say Roly. <laughs> for Rally! Or Wally! That is. Oh god, I'm for mispronouncing his name already. That's sad. I did it! It's my. my Pokemon! Yay! Good job! Good boy, Wally! You did it! You did it! My, thank you! Let's go back to the gym. Right, right. So, did it work out? Thank you, yes it did. Here's your Pokemon bat. Mikey, uh, Mikey. <laughs> Mikey, uh, Mike! Thank you for coming along with me. You two are why I was able to catch my Pokemon. I promise I'll take really good care of it. Oh, my mom's waiting for me, so I have to go. Bye, Mike. Uh, see ya, dude. He's eh, not a bad kid. Take care of your rolls now. That rare-ass fucking rolls. Now, <clears throat> Mike, if you want to become a strong trainer, here's my advice. Head for Rustboro City beyond this town. Mm, excuse me, viewers. There, you should challenge the gym leader, Roxanne. After her, go to the other Pokemon gyms and defeat their leaders. Collect badges from them. Understood? I was going to do that anyway, Dad, but I will. Thanks. Of course, I'm a gym leader, too. We'll battle one day, Mike. You... You're the gym leader here?! Wow! My dad is a gym leader! Oh! Oh my gosh! I'm, I'm, I'm literally like fanning myself off here. My dad is a fucking gym leader! Ha! Suck on that, gyms 1, 2, um, 4, 5, 6, um, I think 7 and 8 too, because I haven't played those games yet. But yeah, suck on that! Your dad is not a gym leader. If you don't, it, well, I guess. Do the protagonists in those games even have fathers? Well, I know Gens 1, 2, 4, and 5 for sure, and 6 don't really have dads in it, but... I got a gym leader daddy! <laughs> in any case, that's... Well, that's only after you become stronger. Oh! So you're saying I can't battle you now? Come on, dad, just a little... Preliminary? You know, like a, like a test fight? Training? Anything? No? No. Aren't you going to the Pokemon Gym in Rustboro City? There's no challenge for me to battle a Greenhorn trainer. 
Mike, I want you to challenge me when you when you become a lot stronger. I'll battle you, Mike, when you can show me four badges, okay? Four badges? Uh, I can't believe I have to wait this long to fight my fucking father. That's sad. But whatever. That's a promise, Dad. You, you are promising to fight me someday soon, right? I promise, son. Go get him. Fine. I accept your challenge. I will be back here after I get four badges. Don't you dare lose to anyone else before then. You got it? Good. Capiche? See ya. Alright. Now that we have our promise from Dad, we will be fighting him again someday. But not anytime soon. In any case, let's go check around Petalburg some more. Hiya, are you maybe a rookie trainer? Do you know what Pokemon trainers do when they reach a new town? Um, they go to the local Pokemon Center and take a piss? No, no, no. They first check out what kind of gym is in town. Good. Okay, yeah, viewers, because if you try to leave town, this guy, just like the guy back in Pewter City in Gen 1, he'll take your ass back to the gym against your will. So, just wanted to let you know that. Otherwise than that, though, my face is reflected in the water. It's a shiny grin full of hope. Or could it be a somber silence struggling with fear? What do you see reflected in your face? Hmm. I see a champion in the making. I see me having a very sexy ass team. And I see me kicking the asses of many people along the way. What do you see in your reflection, dude? Oh, right. Right, you just saw me. Alright, goodbye, random NPC dude. Otherwise, than that, though, we got a job to do, so we're done in Petalburg. Make sure to grab those escape ropes and repels from the Pokemart. Once you're done, let's get out of here. Next stop, Rustboro City? Who the hell is this dude? Excuse me. Let me guess, from the way you're dressed, are you a Pokemon trainer? Um, yes. Hmm. Well, maybe not. Your clothes aren't all that dirty. You're either a rookie trainer or you're just some ordinary kid. Excuse you? I'm roaming the land in search of talented trainers. I'm sorry to have taken your time. Excuse me. What the fuck was that about? Wow, what an asshole! He just comes randomly up to me saying, Are you a Pokemon trainer? Hmm. You're not dirty enough. Hmm. You're either a rookie trainer or some or some random kid. I'm, the, I'm, roaming the, I'm roaming the land for talented trainers. Sorry to take up your time. Wow, what a dick. You know what? Fuck him. In any case, moving on. I already had, already had my ulcer enough for this morning. In any case, if you're going to throw a Pokeball, weaken the wild Pokemon first. It'll be easier to catch if it's been poisoned, burned, or lulled to sleep. Well, duh. Otherwise than that, though, um, here at um, Route 104 South, yes, there are two parts of Route 104. We're in the southern part of it. Now, our destination is Petalburg Woods. Here on Route 104 South, you can find Meryl, water type, um, Puchiana, which is a um, dark type, and of course, Wurmple, um, Talo, you can find it here, and of course, there's Wingle. So if you want to get all that, by all means. How's it going? Oh no, I, I'm not a trainer. But that's right, a trainer's like eyes is a challenge to battle. If you don't want to battle, stay out of their sight. Yeah, I could do that, but sometimes it's very hard to do that, especially if they have Metal Gear Solid Vision. Huh? What was that noise? Literally. Th that's how these trainers are in this game. Like this guy. Leaving footprints in the sand is so much fun. Yeah, it must be. Trainer time! Alright, now. There is one specific trainer on this route that has a crap ton of Magikarps. Yes, you heard me right. A Magikarp trainer. There's always at least one in every Pokemon game. I'm not sure about, you know, well, in Gen 6, I don't recall finding a, um, a Magikarp trainer when I did my, um, my, my Pokemon Y test run. Which I had, which I finished, like, a, a couple months ago, mind you. So, if I can get, if I can do some more testing with the Citra emulator, I might be able to get that LP out to you guys this year. If not, may have to wait a bit longer than that, but, well, I'll see what I can do. But, yeah, Gen 7 and Gen 8, I don't know, because I haven't played those games yet. So, we'll see. Otherwise than that, though, but yeah, this kid here, um, his C-Dot is, um, I think it's pure grass. I think. 
Ah, I got sand on my runners. They're all gritty. Or gritty. Grits. Gritty grits. Gritty shoes. Now, I want to leave my footprints in the sand everywhere, but they disappear quickly. I know. That sucks. Look at our footprints. Well, that is actually some high-ass technology right there. Back in the day in Gen 1 and 2, um, if, if there was sand around, we wouldn't see it. And we liked it. Well, not all of us did. But in Gen 3, look at our footprints. We can see them in the sand. That is technological advancement at its finest, viewers. At its finest. The sea, huh? I wonder what it's like at the bottom of the sea. Huh. How about you go take a swim, dude? <laughs> no, no. In any case, what's this place? Mr. Briney's Cottage. Okay. Hmm. In any case, there's no one here. Okay. Well, <laughs> keep this house in mind for later. You'll see why. Otherwise than that, though, that seaside cottage is where Mr. Briney lives. He was once a mighty sailor who never feared the sea, however stormy. Ah, uh, sounds like my kind of man. <laughs> Otherwise, the net though viewers had to take a quick little um pee break. Now let's get some more berries while we're here. Some more orange berries, nice. And while we're also over here, let's pick up some more petra berries. There you go. Huh, these berries are only useful if you don't have if you don't have the money to you know purchase the um antidotes and shit from the Pokemart. Unless unless you're just a cheapo viewers, but I don't know. Pick your money wisely. Or, or, pick how you distribute your money wisely. We must have been fated to meet. May I ask you for a battle? Sure, why not? Might as well. Got a little bit of time. Train a battle time. Now, in Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire, this lady would not be here. Lady Cindy. Um, but yeah, in her place, in Ruby and Sapphire, there'd be some kind of rich boy trainer here. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. Mr. Moneybags, as, as I always like to call him. But sadly, he's not in Pokemon Emerald. Too bad, so sad. As I told you guys last year, I will be doing, making an effort to do all of the Pokemon mainstream games. That includes all the different other versions. You notice I did Pokemon Red and Blue already on the channel. Needless to say, at some point this year or next year, I will be probably doing Pokemon Yellow. Look forward to that. Same with Pokemon Gold and Silver. I did do a Pokemon Crystal walkthrough on the channel a couple years back. Pokemon Gold and Silver is expected, same with Heart Gold, since I did Soul Silver last year. See what I mean? So Ruby and Sapphire might be coming down the pot at some point next year in 2023. Um, you never know! Just wanted to point that out to you guys. But in case viewers up ahead here is Petalburg Woods. But I'm not going to explore for now. Let's just say fuck it and we'll continue through it next time on Let's Play Pokemon Emerald. If you guys enjoy it, you know what to do. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel for more gaming videos from me. Hit the bell so you notified when I upload new stuff on YouTube. Got something to say? Leave a comment. So next time, dudes and dudes, this is Mike from Rage Break Gaming and I'm signing off to my net. Oh, fail. <laughs> so I'll use my outro from, from my ending LPs. No. This is Mike from Rage Break Gaming, and I'm signing off till next time. Have a great day, bros, and bros that smell you later. <laughs>